In this video, we're going to be looking how to create a jQuery UI autocomplete text box, and we'll be working off the Northwind database categories. And that's the functionality we're looking for. We select an item, and so on. So let's get to it. Okay, let's start a new website, call it Northwind. Now let's add a couple of things in here. The first thing you should have done is uh, download jQuery UI. Download, want to get the latest uh, version, UI lightness, smoothness is the one I like, but you can choose it, I've already done so, so let's drop that into our project. So the things, once you download it and extract it, uh, the two things that you're going to need is you're going to go into jQuery UI Custom, Development Bundle, and you're going to need these two folders here. You're going to need the UI as well as themes. And you're just going to drop it into your scripts folder. Let the source and do that. Now let's drop a script manager onto the page. Let's go to properties and enable page method methods to true. Change that. Let's go back into the source. We'll drop a text box. That's in standard text box. Uh, one more file I forgot that we need here. Is jQuery 1.7.1 and let's drop it into here. There's a bunch of whole other files that we need and the way we're gonna get them is like this jQuery UI autocomplete. We're gonna do a search for that in Google. Autocomplete. <clears throat> I'm going to check it out. Open in the window. Do control U and get all these scripts here. Get back to our Visual Studio. Paste them. Now, of course, the location is wrong. So we need to replace all this. Control F, find and replace. with scripts and I'm just gonna replace all and that should work for us one more thing we need to Visual Studio doesn't like it when you don't uh, say that it's type JavaScript so I've done this before so I'm gonna replace all now it's in green but that will change um, the way we do this is we close this page, and save it, and reopen it, source, and now all is fine. One more thing we're forgetting here is in themes smoothness, CSS all. I'm going to drop that into the header. Um, the one thing we want to do is make the client ID mode the text box static it's just easier to reference it in jQuery so let's add the Northwind database existing item um, I have it in downloads Northwind.mdf add and we're gonna 
add a data set. Yes. Let's add a table adapter. Of course, we're going to choose the Northwood MDF. Yes, we're going to save the connection string, use SQL statement, query builder. We're going to add the categories table, close, select all, OK, next, next, finish. After that, we want to rebuild the website and all is good now. Once we've rebuilt the website, we could start building our web method. We're going to get an error in the beginning, but that's how you write a web method. Then we start a, f uh, excuse me, public shared function. I'm going to go call it get cats as string and notice at the end of the string I'm opening and closing parentheses to say that this is a uh, this is a string array and not a regular string now web method we're getting an error here so all we have to do is put our mouse over the red little underscore and we're just gonna say import import system.web.services at the top now Let's build an adapter, dim cats adapter as new data set one table adapters that category table adapter. Now let's create a table, adapt table and fill it up. Cats table as data set one dot gas data table equals cats adapter dot get data and now we're good so now let's dim our string array that will be returning cats array and the amount of items we're going to have in there is going to be the same amount as as the rows in the cats table. Now, watch what I'm doing. Uh, this really should be like, uh, if we have eight items in the string array, we'll put eight. Actually, if, if you have uh, nine items, you would put uh, eight because it's, array positions start at zero. So what we're going to do is write cats... cats table dot rows dot count and this is an important one minus one because the count the count returns the total amount of rows but since positions start at zero we need to go one lower so that's minus one and uh, we're gonna loop through each row in the cats table for i equals zero to cats table and again that that rows that count and again minus one because the row position is also also start at zero but the count is the total amount of rows inside the table. So inside this loop what we're gonna do is cats array and of course we're gonna get the position at which we're holding equals cats table. Now we're gonna pass the row index which is gonna be i that item and the col we could pass either the column index or the column name and we're gonna get the column name category name 
we're going to copy that over and pass that as the column. That's going to be in double quotes. And that's all good. And we're going to return cats array. Cats array. One thing we forgot here is we're supposed to make this a string. No. We don't need that here. Okay, we're good. That's fine. Now we need to make sure that this text box has all the proper items loaded in. And the way we're going to do it, we're just going to, we're just going to start another script block. Type equals JavaScript. And what we're going to do here is write page methods dot and the name of the page method is get cats control V and then we're gonna start a function in here and this function is gonna be returning the results you could call it whatever you want but I'm gonna call it results open and close swirly brackets and close off uh, this parenthesis here and a semicolon and uh, we're gonna get the text box we well, let's rename it to something txt cats we're gonna start writing jQuery quotes and we're indicating that this is an ID selecting by ID close quotes close parentheses that autocomplete open parentheses open swirly brackets let's just close that off close swirly close parentheses and only thing we need to specify here is the source and the way we do it is like so and we're gonna write results okay um, all looks good and let's try to run it I'm gonna say OK and it is working